Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the sequence and series. Today we will discuss about Cauchy's second theorem on the limit. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the various videos on the topic real analysis. So before we start with the, uh, Cauchy's second theorem on the limits, let's start with some motivation why there is a need of this theorem. So if you have a, some sequence like of the AN, then we all know that this is a divergent series. How you can uh, divergent sequence? How you can prove that whether a sequence is convergent or not? You have to find the limit if it is a unique and finite. Then you can say if it is a unique and finite, then you can say it is a convergent, otherwise divergent. Clearly says that when you find the limit of this, it will go to the infinity, which is not a finite. Hence, it is a convergent. It's a not a convergent. On the other hand, if you find the convergent if you find the sequence a n plus 1 upon a n that is if you find the sequence as a n plus 1 over here then clearly say that this is a convergent why because if you take the limit as n approaches infinity it goes to the one which is finite and unique second example if you consider about this if you consider another sequence n raised to power 1 by n does it convergent so how you can prove that you have to take simply limit n approaches infinity of this and we know that it is a one which is a convergent. Also, you can see a n plus 1 upon a n is again a 1 and which is same as that of this. The only difference here is power 1 by n. Now, can you say this and this both are same? First question. If you consider another sequence like c raised to power n upon n square, where c is the any of the real number, it can be of the minus 1, it can be of the plus 3, minus 7 and so on. Then, what can you say about the convergence of the a n? How you can check that? If I see a n plus 1 upon a n, what is that? It, it is equal to converges to the c. And since c is a, any of the one real number which is unique and the finite, so we can say this is a convergent. What about this a raised to power n? If you compute them, again it converges to the c. So what you conclude that? This converges to the c and this also converges to the c. This converges to the 1, this converges to the 1 and so on. So what do you observe from these three examples? Is this say if a n plus 1 upon a n convergent to the some series to some limit L, then the same for here? That's the that's the first observation from that. So make sure in all these three examples, this is the first example, this is the second, and the third, the one thing is all these sequences have a positive term. So once the sequences have the positive term, then this result will give by the Cauchy and name as the Cauchy second theorem of the limit. What is the statement of the Cauchy second theorem is whenever you have a sequence of the positive terms and if a n plus 1 upon a n is a convergent sequence then a n raised to power 1 by n is also be a convergence to the same L limit is there. Or you can say if a n plus 1 upon a n is a convergent to the L then a n raised to power 1 by n is also the convergent and converges to the same limit n. The proof is very simple. If you look about that, the only proof needed is the convergent P. What is the definition of the convergent? A n plus 1 upon A n converges to L. So for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists a positive natural number m such that here. So if you open them, it, it will be like, like this way. A n plus 1 upon A n minus L is less than epsilon. And you can find the value of this from here which is like this here you can see n is greater than or equal to m so i can take m m plus 1 and then so on up to the m plus k minus 1 how many pairs are there these are my k pairs so you can take this value and here you will get when you take n is equal to m you will get the first equation when you take n is equal to m plus 1 it's m plus 2 and then so on now if you multiply all this inequality you can see that all these terms will be cancelled out and the left hand side will be this raised to power k is less than or this will be my of k and in this case it will be my a n plus 1 here. Now since we need a, a n so it means I can simply take m plus k is my n or you can simply take k is n minus m. So I can replace k to the n minus m we will get here. Finally we need a 1 raised to power n so I can take this as nth root of this so it will be given as nth root of this it will be given as nth root and of this 
Now what will happen if I multiply this on the both side, you will get the expression as here. Now take n approaches infinity, what will happen? This will becomes true as n approaches infinity, this becomes a 0, this becomes a anything power 0 is 1. So this converges to the L minus epsilon, and this is L plus epsilon. So I can substitute this value as L minus epsilon and so on. Now rest part is simple, you can take the minus L on the both side and you will get here. What is implies that? This implies limit a n raised to power n as n approaches infinity is my L or you can say a n is convergent to the L that is my here and what is the L is? L is nothing but my a n plus 1 upon a n. So that is a quite simple proof of this Cauchy's second theorem on the limit. Let us discuss some, some examples are there. So what we have discussed in the last two lectures, there is the Cauchy first theorem and the Cauchy second theorem. Now the question arises is when you will use these theorems while solving the problem. So when any of the problem is consists of raised to power 1 by n, it is a power. So then you always try to use the Cauchy's second theorem. On the other hand, whenever, whenever any of the question is of the form 1 by n, then you have to, then it is advised to use the Cauchy first theorem on the limit. For example, so look at this uh, 4 to 5 example so that you are able to understand clearly. So look at that, this is my raised to power 1 by n. So you can apply the Cauchy second theorem. So what we can do is, I can firstly write this is raised to power 1 by n. So this is n raised to power n. Now if you compare them with the help of here, then a n is my this part. Clearly say that n is my natural number, this is always with a positive sequence. So once it's a positive, then we can apply the Cauchy second theorem on the limit. What is the Cauchy second theorem is? We will find the ratio of this. Whatever the limits, we will get the same as here. So find the an plus 1 upon an. This will be here. You can see n plus, uh, sorry, uh, n plus 2 will be cancelled out with the n plus 2. n plus 3 will be cancelled out n plus 3. 2n will be cancelled out 2n and so on. So what will happen on this part? We will get as this. Now, as now take as n approaches infinity what will happen you can write like this way which is this is my e this is my 1 by 4 so is a e by 4 which is a unique and the finite so we can say it's a convergent so once a n plus 1 upon a n is convergent so by the Cauchy second theorem we can see both the limits are same hence what is the limit of the sequence is limit of the sequence is my e by 4 Similarly, again look at that, this is a 1 by n, so again we will apply the Cauchy theorem. So again, a n is my here, n is a positive natural number which is always positive. So we can apply the Cauchy second theorem. We can take the limit as here. So this is n factorial, this is n plus 1 factorial, we can open here. This is 3n plus 3, so I can open this as 3n plus 1, 3n plus 2, 3n plus 1 and then 3n factorial of this portion. Now you can see this portion will be cancelled out, n factorial will be cancelled out of the this and the remaining portion is my here. This is the n cube, so we can divide n cube on the both side, we will get as of this. Now take as n approaches infinity, we will get the answer as 27, which is unique as well as the finite, unique as well as the finite, so we can say it's a convergent sequence. So therefore by the Cauchy second theorem, this raised to power 1 by n is also same as that of 27. So it's a finite, so it's a convergent. Look at the another one. Again, this is a 1 raised to power 1 by n or you can say 1 by n. You can apply the first theorem or the second theorem are there. So, but I prefer always to use the second theorem. So I can write firstly in terms of raised to power 1 by n. This is my a n, which is a positive sequence. We can start with the a n plus 1 upon a n, which is here. Now I can take the pair of this and I can take the pair of the others which can write like here. So a n plus 1 will be cancelled out and n plus 1 will be cancelled out. So it is my here. Take n approaches infinity. So I can write this value as of this. So which is nothing but my 1 over e. So 1 over e is a limit, is a sequence that is a finite and unique. So we can say by the Cauchy second theorem it is my convergent sequence. 
So this is an exercise for you. You can try to do it by on. That's a three question that exercise for you and check whether verify these answers are correct or not. Let me your answers in the comment box whether your answers are correct or not. I hope you can simply learn the simplest way of the Cauchy's second theorem on the limits. We will see in the next class on the monotonic monotone convergence theorems. Till then, you can simply like, share, and comment my these videos. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.